I realized after I fin finished filming the video that the book is called Yoke and I didn't wear my egg earrings. I'm stupid. <laughs> hey folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natasha and I do book things here. Today is Tiny Tuesday, the first video in Tiny Tuesday where I talk about a single book for a short period of time, tinily, teeny tiny, teeny tiny book review. Might not be as quick and as breezy as I would like, but I would like them to get snappy and easy. It's gonna be basic things, my talking points, author, title, pub date, publication date, a brief synopsis, typically kind of what is on Goodreads-ish. Major topics discussed, that includes um, hard topics, triggers, the best aspects for me, the worst aspects for me, my favorite quote, my feelings, who the book is for, my overall rating, and um, as suggested by somebody on my Instagram, uh, three emojis that best describe this book. So let's make this tiny, teeny tiny book review. The first book, as you can tell from the title, this is Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi, who also wrote Emergency Contact and Permanent Record, two books that I really, really liked. This is set in the YA genre, however, the age range is closer to sort of new adult. This was published uh, March 2nd, 2021, so it is a fairly new release. And the synopsis, as per Goodreads, says it is an emotional story about two estranged sisters switching places and committing insurance fraud to save one of their lives. The most sort of bare bones synopsis. The major topics discussed in this, this is definitely a heavier book. Some of the topics that are discussed in here. That include body dysmorphia, bulimia, cancer, disordered eating, miscarriage, and parental abandonment. I'm sure there's some sort of sub things in that if you really wanted to get deep, but those are sort of the, um, the more difficult, harder subjects that are talked about in this book. Now, the best aspects for me in this book is the fact that it is set in New York City. I personally love books set in New York City. They can come across a little bit cliche, but I absolutely love that. I feel like this book uh, describes New York City very, very well. The dialogue in here as well, it nails what I would consider current day dialogue, especially the dialogue between family members and sisters in this book, the best aspect for me. It's also sort of gritty. There are unlikable characters. We're following the one main character and her relationship with her sister. We do get it from a single point of view, from the, um, the sister that we're following and they are an unlikable character. I quite like that set in with sort of the grittiness of New York City and the way that that city can be. Um, it lends itself really well to an impactful emotional book. Those are the best aspects. Uh, the new, the setting, the dialogue, uh, the unlikable characters, um, the relationship between sisters is flawed. Now the worst aspects, the things that people I think won't like about this book, um, despite my own personal feelings, I believe that because it is a single perspective and you are following a flawed character, so some people might not relate to her very much, some people might not like that, might not like the fact that other characters are being described um, in the eyes of a flawed character. One of the worst aspects of the book, if you don't like that. I personally really like that, but I did want to mention that because I think that that's something that a lot of people might not like. And there is sort of an abrupt ending. I think that it, uh, it was a beautifully well-crafted book, but I think it might be too abrupt for people who like things wrapped up a little bit more nicely. So that brings me to who is this book for? Uh, it is for readers who, I have some notes here, but I think it's for readers who enjoy flawed characters, messiness, and strong character-driven stories. This is deeply about a relationship between two sisters who hadn't talked in a very long time. And so if you are somebody who's looking for a, in my opinion, realistic sister-sister turmoil conflict, this would be a good book for you. It's also for fans of New York City and people who are comfortable reading um, upsetting dialogue and sort of raw, I hate that word raw, but emotional inner dialogue. The struggles that the main character goes with, with body dysmorphia, bulimia, disordered eating, while it is something that is extremely hard to read about if that's one of your triggers, is actually incredibly well done if you are looking to read that. Um, be very gentle and guide through that at your own pace because it can be very, very troubling to read. Somebody who hasn't even dealt with that, it's very intense. I think that this is a good book for people who like that sort of new adult range, um, the age range between sort of 19 to 25. Uh, those are the books that I really like in YA. I tend to lean less towards 
you know 16 to 18 and I like to go more 19 to 23. My overall rating for the book is a 4.5 to 5. I think upon reread probably a 5 and I definitely cried reading this so it's very well written, very emotional so I'm giving it a 4.5 to a 5. And my favorite quote in this is humans need to share their darkest parts. Unburdening you makes you closer to everyone. Also another favorite quote is New York is just a place. It's the people who become a home for you. Um, both of those kind of hit me and um, enough to want to write them down. I don't often remember quotes from books but I like including that so it gives you guys an idea of um, some of the things that I liked. Maybe the writing as well. My overall feelings, I absolutely love this. I found this to be probably one of the top books that I've read so far this year. I decided to start this on a strong note, give you guys one that I recommend. Obviously do go back to those major topics. It is a difficult one. Uh, it is a rough one to kind of go through. There's a lot of very like I said, tender dialogue between two people with the issues that they are dealing with. So tread lightly with that. One of the most beautiful books um, I've ever seen. The um, the hands that connect on the page. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Three emojis that sort of describe what this book is. I'm going to include, because it's called Yolk, I'm going to include the the frying pan egg. <laughs> the second one is that sort of night sky cityscape. And then the last one is going to be uh, the DNA swirly because it's about sisters and fam family stuff. That is my Tiny Talk Tuesday. I'm going to be here hopefully every Tuesday. Decided to start with something strong. I will be going back and picking up books here and there, books that I feel like stand out for one reason or another, and uh, doing Tiny Talk Tuesdays. So I hope you like this. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to all you soon. Bye!